Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Squadrons news update video, and this is a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one, because we are going to be getting some new content. Now, it's nothing really substantial, but there is a Mandalorian supply drop coming this week in celebration of the release of The Mandalorian Season 2, dropping this Friday, October 30th. In close collaboration with Lucasfilm, Motive have created some new cosmetics that we can earn and unlock for the game in our cockpits. So we have a hanging flare, which is the Razor Crest gunship, Mandalorian ship, which looks fantastic, along with a Beskar ingot as well, which is appreciated. Then there are two dashboard flares, so there is a IG series assassin droid with dual weapons, and it's sort of like wood carved, which is pretty awesome. And there is also the one and only The Child, which so many of us have asked for. And in the pilot's briefing blog post, the Tugtar Ewok bobblehead has some very close competition now because it looks amazing. I love the wood carving, I love the colouring, and it even has the little ball that the child picks up in season one. And there are two holograms, so we have a bounty with a Rodian showed with some airbrush, and then the credits that will be rewarded if you get the bounty, and then there is also a blurg. As you can see with these images, the Imperials and New Republic will get one each of these cosmetics for their starfighters. For example, the Rodian bounty hologram is for the Imperial, and there will also be one decal per team as well. We don't know which this will be. We don't have any idea. I'd assume that the Mythosaur will be the one that's going to be in the New Republic side. It makes a lot of sense given it's a Mandalorian drop. So you're probably wondering with all of this excitement, when can you get the, your hands on these new cosmetics? Well, it's going to be very soon. It's going to be releasing in an update on October 20th. So this Wednesday in literally two days from the recording of this video. So it's going to be awesome. Glad this is out before the episodes start to air. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on this Mandalorian content drop. I know it's really small, but we didn't really expect this, so it was a nice bonus. However, I really, really, really hope we get more content, even if it's just stuff like this. But I do want new ships, new maps, something in the future. Please motive, please support the game. It would be fantastic but i'm excited for the new update i will have a video going live on it as well and announced today as well there is going to be a mandalorian xbox controller which is fantastic you can pre-order it right now it's really expensive because it does come with a charging stance the same price as the squadrons controller that released and the fallen order controller but it looks amazing it's themed around the mandalorian let me know if you're going to be getting that i'm not because it's so expensive but it does look awesome. So with all that going on, the excitement for The Mandalorian is real. So make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. I'm going to be making videos on the new episode and, of course, this Squadron's updates. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them. And that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in my next Star Wars Squadron's video. Goodbye.